Well, how's it going, everybody? My name is Grovan, and welcome to this week's Skyrim's Hidden Treasure. This should be a very good one. This is Lost Echo Cave, as suggested by Matthew Brooks, and I'm sure this one has been suggested multiple times before that because I remember this name. Anyways, I've already activated this location, and according to the description, I might have gone inside, thought that there was nothing uh, about this location, and exited, but that is not the case. So this is Lost Echo Cave, and it is located near Solitude. So there we are once more. More. and like I said I've already activated this location and also there seems to be a cave over there that I haven't been to and a fort over there that I haven't been to but is it on my map no it's not so we have two more locations interesting just when you think Skyrim's hidden treasures is almost out of locations more and more appear anyways we're gonna go ahead and head on inside a lost echo cave and see what we can find Alrighty, so this is Lost Echo Cave. So far, we just have an ominous blue glow. And from what, from what I understand, we're also going to need to take one of these glowing mushrooms. So there we go. We have one, and you'll see why in a second, or you should at least. Alright. So let's see. So far, so good. Nothing much of interest just yet. What is this? Some sort of rope, I guess. Okay, heading down, making sure that we're not missing anything. I don't think that we are. I hear Charis. But I don't see a Charis. Okay. We have a little urn over here, but still nothing. There are Charis scatterings around, but again, we don't see any just yet. Let's keep heading into the belly of the beast. And what do we have here? Looks like we have a pretty big room. I don't know why I'm in sneak. There's nobody outside just yet. Okay, so we have a ceremonial brazier here. That we can activate. Now that should give you some indication that that's a little different. We also have scaled helmet, banded iron armor, iron war axe, blah blah blah, old tome, 2920 morning star version 1, which is a skill book. I'm not sure what it is, but I know we have already read it. Um, and an old tome here, which is a unique book that says, A mighty lord de deserves a mighty offering, but he who fell on the spot has to be remembered humbly. We who served at his hand, however, do not want his brilliance to be forgotten. Thus, to honor him, one needs only to look at the simple glowing f fungus on this cave walls, on these cave walls. For no matter how mighty or humble one may be in life, we all return to the same ground from which this mushroom blooms. And that's that. So let's take that unique book. If I was in here, I must have been pretty dumb at the time because it's the puzzle is very obvious. So you want to take one of these glowing mushrooms, which we already have taken. Walk over to the ceremonial brazier. Oh, I guess maybe I just haven't, I just didn't notice that we can activate this. And we want to activate it. Glowing mushroom removed. Looks like it is burning, and that has opened that door over there. So as you can tell, this is already a very good episode of Skyrim and Treasures. Because that is a very unique thing. Okay. So in here, I hear some scuttling about. We looks like we have a couple of Falmer in the distance here. Let's go ahead and get a headshot on this guy. But of course, this being Skyrim Hidden Treasures, the arrow does not connect when it should. And one more should do it. Goodbye. Okay, these guys are probably not going to have anything. But just in case that they do, we don't want to miss a key or something. Nope. And the Shadow Master also does not have anything. Okay, so where does this lead? To nothing. Let's open this gate and inside we can find some more glowing mushrooms. Which seems to be the main export of this cave, I guess. Okay, and up here we have... I never understood. This is like a master level Falmer chest. I don't know. Ebony War Axe. Amethyst. Flawless Emerald. Flawless Garnet. Gold. Greater Soul Gem. Potion of Ultimate Healing. Okay, and inside here, if we can actually get inside, there we go. There is nothing but bones. Alright, so let's move forward. Anything else? There is, oh, I was going to say there's a Charis, but I guess that was just, uh-oh. Oh, hello there. Where did you come from? Wow. Falmer Shadow Master. So I guess this is the equivalent of a Draugr Death Lord because these guys take a ton of damage. Okay. Let's see if we can't charge our bow, which is out of charge. It usually is. So let's go to Miscellaneous and Azura Star, which is empty. But we also have Black Soul Gems, which are grand. Okay, so this would be a perfect time to utilize the um, Soul Tear Shout, which I mainly utilize anyways. But one of the main purposes of that shout is to get some charges for our 
soul gem. So let's try and use it on this guy if he can sort of get... Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Oh well. We can also use one of those black soul gems, but I think that's a kind of a waste. Really? Healing? That's not cool. Alright, one more arrow should do the trick. There we go. I know a lot of people, like, I keep reading through comments on this series, and a lot of people don't agree with my habits in Skyrim. Like, I don't loot everything that I should, such as arrows and whatever. I play video games a lot differently than normal people play video games, I think. Um, alright. There we go. Moving on. Uh, okay, so we have a location to the left here, or a direction to the left, and we also have a direction to the right over here. Let's go ahead and go back into Sneak. We do have a enemy indicator, and also a trap, which I deactivated, but I also activated on myself as well. Okay, if an arrow could connect just one, that would be great. Thank you. Alright, three, four, and five. Goodbye. What do you have for me? Give me some of my ebony arrows back, thank you. Nothing else in here. There is a gate, which leads to an Imperial, who has a lockpick, but not much else. Also a chest here. Yeah. A lot of people wonder why I don't pick up gems. We also have another bandit here. Um, and I've went over this a lot in way older episodes. The reason for that is because gold, yeah... The gold is not nearly worth as much, but it goes straight into my pocket, and it's just a habit. Whereas gems, I would have to sell them, and if you'll notice, if we go into my items, not the map, oh god, this is going to take like 20 seconds. Okay, if we go into my items, I have 150,000 gold, which might not be a lot to some of you, but I don't need anything. I've done like every quest, there's no reason to sell anything at this point. Alright. And I know I didn't need to shoot the arrow at the ground there, it's just another force of habit. Okay. That's a very creepy pose for this guy to die in. Alrighty. So, so far, nothing but Falmer, and here's a Charis. Would really, really like to recharge this bow, so let's go ahead and try to kill this thing with Solterre. There we go, good. Now, that has filled Azura's Star. So let's go back into Miscellaneous, go to Azura's Star, which is common, which is not that great, but, uh, okay, so we need to go to our weapon first. I always forget which is which. Okay, let's charge that with... Oh, we also have a Grand Soul Gem. Okay. I didn't see that. Alright, now it's fully charged. And now this bow, which also everybody asks what it does. It uh, drains basically the three attributes. Health, Stamina, and Magicka. Whenever you hit somebody with it. Oh, hello there. Okay, we have a Falmer Warmonger here. Who has killed my... Nice, uh... I don't even know what you call those things. Hunters, right? The, uh, the Charis Hunters. Okay, and what do you have? That was also the clearing noise. Some gold, some Falmer heavy stuff, and that's it. And I know I missed those arrows there. Alrighty, so here we have what looks to be a handle, which is going to do what? Open that rock door, which I'm guessing is going to lead us back into the area where we started. Uh, yes, it has. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was Lost Echo Cave. Not the greatest of locations. I don't really like it when it's just like sort of a dungeon with enemies and there's nothing to find at the end, like a word wall or anything like that. But nevertheless, as soon as I heard that you have to burn a glowing mushroom in a brazier to activate a secret door, that kind of screams scams and treasures. So leave any and all future suggestions in the comment section below, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rovana, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, help me out by liking it, adding it to your favorites, and sharing it on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to go the extra mile, go ahead and follow my social pages as well as my Twitch channel. The links are in the description below. Finally, if you want to subscribe and or watch another video that's probably going to be related to this one, you can click the big ol' annotations on the screen. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.